Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about how to add and subtract Maclaurin series. Um, you kind of need a background in what Maclaurin series are before we continue. So if there's a video or two you haven't watched, I suggest you do that first uh, because there are some things that I am assuming that you know uh, moving forward into this lesson. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Maclaurin series that we know for the function sine x and for the function cosine x, and we're going to use those to write the Maclaurin series for the function sine of x squared plus the cosine of 4x. And we're going to do that up to the x to the 6 term, uh, making it a degree 6 Maclaurin polynomial. So from what we know before, uh, the function sine x is approximated by the polynomial x minus x to the third over 3 factorial and so on following that pattern. Uh, so if I wanted to write sine of x squared instead, the Maclaurin polynomial for that would be the same as for sine x, it's just that every x is now x squared. So it would be x squared minus x squared to the third over 3 factorial and so on. Okay, and so if I simplify that, I get x squared minus x to the 6 over 3 factorial and so on. But notice that I'm stopping at x to the 6 because that's the degree of the polynomial that I'm asked for. So there are more terms, it's just I'm not worried about those because I wasn't asked for them. All right, turning our attention to the cosine function now, that is the Maclaurin series for um, cosine x. And so now I need to change that so that it is cosine 4x instead. So the same process, I'm taking that Maclaurin series for cosine x and everywhere there's an x, I'm replacing it with a 4x. So that's what it looks like when I do that. And when I simplify, it's going to be 1 minus 16x squared over 2 factorial and so on. And notice again, I'm stopping at the x to the 6 term because that's the highest uh, exponent that I was asked for. All right, so now if we are adding these together, notice that I am approximating those up to the x to the 6 term, and that's where I'm stopping. So that's what it looks like. I just need to simplify it and put things in order of um, ascending exponents of x. So my constant term is just 1. I don't have an x term, so I will turn my attention to the x squared terms, and I have two of them. There's one with a coefficient of 1, and the other one has a coefficient of negative 16 over 2 factorial. Then I don't have an x cubed term, but I do have an x to the fourth term, so that will be my next term. And then my last two terms will be a combination of the terms that have x to the six in them, and I'll just put the coefficients in parentheses like that. All right, so once I simplify, I would get that polynomial right there, one minus seven x squared plus 32 over three x to the fourth minus 527 over 90 x to the six, and that polynomial would approximate the values of sine of x squared plus cosine of 4x for x values that are near x equals 0. All right, and so our second and final example is we're going to use the Maclaurin series for e to the x, and we're going to write a Maclaurin series for e to the x minus e to the negative x all over 2 up to the x to the 7 term. So if you remember, e to the x is 1 plus x, plus all of those other terms, that's the pattern. And again, I've stopped at the x to the seven term because that's as far as I need to go. e to the negative x, which is the other part of this expression that I need to figure out, um, is just the same as e to the x, but every x is replaced with negative x. And so if I simplify that, um, that's what it's going to look like. So I've got e to the x, I've got e to the negative x. I'm going to subtract them and put it over two and see what I get. Okay, so that is them being subtracted. I haven't divided by two yet. I'm gonna save that for the end, but I'm just looking at uh, the things that cancel out and the things that I can combine. So I'm looking for things that are the same inside the parentheses because I am subtracting. And if I'm subtracting the same thing, then they will subtract out to give zero. So the ones are the same in the parentheses, so those will subtract to give zero. And the same applies to x squared over two factorial and basically all of the terms that have an even exponent of x. And then the others I can combine. So x minus negative x is going to be two x. And x to the third over three factorial minus negative x to the third over three factorial is gonna be two of those. And I'll have two of those and I'll have two of those. 
So that is um, what I get when I subtract those two, but remember I still haven't divided by two to get my final expression. So when I divide by two, all of that goes over two. Notice how every term in the numerator on the right hand side does have a two in it. So basically I'm just gonna divide those twos out and I will get that e to the x minus e to the negative x over two is um, approximately x plus x to the third over three factorial plus x to the fifth over five factorial plus x to the seven over seven factorial. So for x's that are close to zero, um, this polynomial will approximate values of x that are close to x equals zero. All right, and that is how you add or subtract um, Maclaurin series to get approximations. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.